Hello everyone, my name is Katerina. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I have for you a second spring card. In my last video I made a card with tulips that I colored with alcohol markers from Autanew. In this video I'm going to be coloring daffodils using the Prisma pencils. And just as in my previous video I will be creating a frame, but this time I'm going to create a circle frame. I stamped the daffodils with a black ink using the Minimisty stamping tool. And the cardstock I'm using here is the Bristol cardstock, which I find great to use with coloring pencils like Faber Castells or Prismas. In this video for the coloring, I'm using the Prisma pencils, yellows and greens, the exact colors you can find on my website. I didn't do anything special with the coloring and because in my previous video I was talking throughout the whole thing, I will just speed it up now for the coloring and play a little bit of music. But here is a new question for you. Do you prefer videos where the person is talking and explaining or do you prefer music, even music throughout the whole video? Let me know in the comments. The coloring is finished. It took me about 20 minutes altogether. Next, I die cut the flowers and also I die cut the frame using a black cardstock. You can, of course, use different color for the cardstock if you want. You can also do what I did in my previous video and use a white cardstock and distress inks to create your own color. I just thought the black is perfect match for the black outlines of the stamped daffodils. Next, I did the same as I did in my previous card with the tulips. I used distress inks to add color to the background behind the daffodils. I applied the inks directly onto the card base. This is completely optional. I'm creating here a sky and grass background, but you can use any color you want or you can just leave it white. To create the background, I first used the die cuts to jot few pencil lines to have a rough idea where the ink should go. And then I applied the distress inks. I used two different shades for each color, but it would be okay to use just one shade. For the blending, I used an inexpensive blending tool. This is actually not meant for crafting. This is a makeup tool. I got it in a makeup section of something like Euro or Dollar Store. Next, I adhered double-sided foam tape on the back of all the die-cut pieces. The stems of the daffodils I tucked in behind the frame. And the yellow flowers I left outside of the frame. Also, just as on my card with the tulips, when attaching the tape onto the back of the frame, make sure you leave enough space for the stems along the bottom. This way you can tuck them in. There is one thing missing and that is sentiment. There are nice sentiments for Mother's Day included in the stamp set, but I wanted the sentiment match with the previous card, so I used the especially for you sentiment from a sentiment stamp set by Clearly Besotted called Sweet Sentiments Plus. 
and I stamped it below the frame with the flowers. Lastly, to add a little bit of sparkle to the card, I adhere a few clear drops around the flowers. The glue I use this time is the Multimedia Matte Adhesive from Ranger. If you don't have clear drops like these, you can also use enamel dots or sequins. So the cards are finished, I really like the result. As I said, you can use different colors for the background or the frame. You also don't have to use the scallop die for the frame, you can just use a simple circle die. I actually lost the scallop die about three years ago and last year it appeared out of nowhere, so I obviously had to use it. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did I would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you haven't seen my previous video where I used similar stamp set just with tulips and I colored it with the Alta New Alcohol markers, make sure you do. Or you can check out my Let's Color playlist. You can find here cards where I used all kinds of coloring mediums. The links to those you can find in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.